Let's get started. Walter Zwizlak, you are dead. Dead? You've got to be kidding me. I'm not dead. People always have a hard time with the news, which is why we've developed a plan to help people gain closure and move on. You get to relive one day of your life, and you get to pick. Relive a day? You get to relive one day, but you can't change it. It's not about changing your life. It's about appreciating it. You get a chance to sample from days that are good memories for choosing which, not in a million years. I don't want to reopen old wounds. I want out. You're going to be difficult, aren't you? Walter Zwizlak wants none of it. Not a day to relive. Not a trip down memory lane through a life he wasted. His wife, Rosie, died a year, a few years ago. And without her, he hasn't done much living. Join Penny as she reminds Walter that there is beauty in every day, even the bad ones. And this is a question for us. If, at the end of your life, you got to pick one day to relive, what day would you pick? A Day in the Death of Walter Zawislak by Molly O'Keefe, copyright 2019. March 26, 1962, basketball finals. Hey, look, that's me. Over here, Mech! I'm open! Ten seconds until the clock. Beaver trails by two. I remember this game. I was a senior. This is my last chance. Two seconds left. One second. Foul! No time on the clock. Beaver trails by two. And Walter's wind like his three free throws! I could have the free throws my eyes closed. In! Beaver behind by one! My father's field countless readouts were in the basket of the garage door. Do it again. Do it again. Again, you sissy. In! Tie game! Nothing I did was ever good enough for him. I thought, if I made this shot, maybe... In! Bamberton wins! What a day! What a day! Is this the day, basketball champ? It's a good one. All the running, all the glory, carried away on the shoulders of your team. My dad missed it. So? I don't know what he wanted from me, but I could never give it. This game could have been the beginning of something with my dad, but he didn't see it. Horrible memory. Well, that's just the first day on the list. You're the first decorated war hero I've managed. August 11th, 1968, Vietnam War. Wait, what? I don't want to relive this. There was no retreat. We all thought we were gonna die. Sarge's hit! I realized I had to go get Sarge. He said that'll lose my mind. Maybe I had lost my mind. Sarge, don't try to move. You were a hero! Decorated and discharged. You saved that guy's life, did I? Sarge sent him for another tour the second he walked out of the hospital. In a landmine while on patrol. I saved him for nothing. Walter, I. What's the next day on your list? May 28th, 19th. I know what day this is. The Sunrise Cafe. There she is. Here you go. A piece of pie. Thank you. That's, that's some pie. I'm Walt. W Walter. Hi, w Walter. I'm Rosie. N no, it's just nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. <laughs> I, uh, I would like to take you to dinner sometime. The movie? Is that, would that be? I would like that. So, care to relive the day you met your wife? I can't. You've got a decision to make, Walter. What about the day you received a purple heart? Didn't go. Didn't know what to say. Someone went and had to go and get stars, so I went and got him. <clears throat> Not much of a speech. What about the day you proposed to Rosie? Didn't get an engagement ring. Proposed with nothing to slide onto her hand. Big 
promotions at work? I didn't get mine. I was put in the warehouse. Seriously, there is nothing for me to relive. I have every authority to just assign you a day. Just pick one. Fine. Then it's a bad day. What is wrong with you? You have a chance to go back and live. Same with the day Rosie died. The day we put her in the ground. That's the day I deserve. Deserve? Why? Because I'm the one that signed the papers to get her off that respirator. Walter, you didn't kill her. The cancer I had. Everything. I had everything. And I signed those papers. I let my everything go in a cold hospital room. That's why I don't want to. I can't go back. Because there's nothing worse than having it all and ruining it. No. There is something worse. Where are we? The house? It's my house. Well, shit. <laughs> I should have grown up here, made friends, gotten married, become a nurse, watched my children grow. But I never got the chance. Walter, I was a warden. Penny, I'm sorry. You think it's hard having to pick one day of your miserable, gorgeous, life to go back to? Try not having the option. Life is beautiful and precious. Every moment. Even bad ones. I never even <coughs> learned to breathe air. And I would give anything. Anything. To have one day to relive. The only thing I ever did with my life was cause pain and <coughs> disappointment. Don't do this to yourself, Walter. It was all the waste! <coughs> what day do you think Rosie relived? What? She relived the birthday when you proposed. Without a ring? Sarge? He relived the day he was reunited with his wife after you saved him. He did. And your father? He never told you he saw that game. Did you ever ask? I never asked that man anything. He not only saw it, he saw it twice. That was the day your father relived. Your life, it wasn't a waste, Walter. You did more good than you think. I want a quiet day. Pardon? June 16, 2009. A day with Rosie. A trip to the park. Her famous egg salad sandwiches. Snuggling close. Fireflies in the shadows. Looking at the stars. Our last quiet, simple. Time I didn't see its value. At the time it was just another day. <laughs> there were so many days. I took them for granted. June 16th, 2009. That's the day I wanted. 